In the month of May, there was the very first international Latin American free thought conference. It took place in Peru, Arequipa, Peru. Arequipa is known as the White City. It's the second largest city in Peru. And speakers from 12 different countries showed up to participate in this conference, which was advocating for secular governments. Many of the Latin American countries have secular governments on paper, but they have a problem with what they call confessional countries, where the Catholic Church still has an awful lot of power. So there were discussions about religion in the schools, there were arguments about how to combat sexism, about abortion rights and birth control rights, about the gender gap due to uh, religious sexism. There were scientists, there were philosophers, there were legal experts. It was quite an exciting conference. People from Chile and Argentina, from Mexico, from Puerto Rico, from Guatemala, from Peru, of course, from all sorts of other countries, and then me from Southern California, uh, and then Giovanni Gaetani from Italy, who was with the International Humanist and Ethical Union. I was invited to be the opening speaker, and I opened it on Thursday morning with a talk about the importance of secular government, where I said that I think the best hope for the world is a government that is totally neutral, where we're all free to believe or not believe as we choose. There is hope in most of the Latin American countries that the grip of the Catholic Church is weakening for many different reasons, uh, economic reasons, uh, partly, uh, regrettably, because the Pentecostal Church is growing and so it's making a big dent in the Catholic Church, but the scandals and just the week before I arrived there in Peru, the Chilean bishops, all 34 of them, had submitted their resignation to the Pope over this abuse scandal of uh, raping children. And the Pope somewhat complicit in at least supporting those who were covering up that scandal. So it's a big issue right now. The moral credibility of the church is weakening, although they still have a lot of power in the way their fingers are mixed in with the government in most of those countries. FFRF was one of the two major international sponsors of the conference, including the International Humanist and Ethical Union. And it was a real pleasure that we were able to participate in helping free thought, to make our voices heard, to let the world know, even in countries where it's very difficult to be an outspoken free thinker, to speak up, to make a difference for women's rights, for gay rights, and for the rights of free thinkers. Mm -hmm.